trivia questions, studying. <laughs> I don't want no people um, 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 ignorant in these last days. The problem with the church today in these days is our people perishing for the lack of knowledge. That's what they. That's what they. That's why the church is is is, um, is um, really hurting. You know what I mean. They, they they think they know and once you think you got it you just lost it and a lot of people think they got it y'all and I'm going to show us an example of what happens when you think you got it you're going to go in you're going to go into uh, a man of God who, who thought he had it but lost it he thought he had it. And he lost it. Anybody familiar with Romans 6 and 1? And if you're not familiar with it, find it and read it from it. Y'all, the, the Bible speaking to me, you, and everybody mm -hmm. else ain't nobody mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. Somebody read it from What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Shall we continue in sin uh -huh. that grace may abound? Then what was the what was the answer? God forbid. God forbid. Amen. Amen. Shall we continue to do what we're doing? All right, yeah. Shall we continue to do what we're doing? Mm -hmm. my, my, my. Shall we continue to keep doing what we're doing? All right. Grace on you right now. We're yeah. in the dispensation of grace. Yes, sir. Yeah. But one thing I found out about yeah. grace, yeah. it runs yeah. out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Only thing that lasts forever is mercy. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. 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 Glory. But we ain't saved by mercy. Come on, right. we saved by grace ah, through faith. Amen. Yes. That's yes. what the Bible tells us. Amen. We ain't saved by mercy. Mercy is an act of love, but we saved by the grace of God yes. through faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. One God, yes. one faith, yes. and one baptism. Yes. That's how we say. I want y'all to miss that. We're saved by grace. Because I'm going somewhere in a few minutes. We are saved by grace. Yes. But we just read in Romans 6 and 1. Shall we continue? Shall we continue to keep doing what we're doing? What's going to happen? It's going to run out. Yes, sir. I'm talking to somebody. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy you're here. Because faith come by here. Yeah. And hearing of the word of God. Of God. And how can they hear? Don't tell me that I can get it at home. The Bible says, how can you hear unless there's a preacher? And how can he preach unless he's been sent? Or would it put it like that unless he's been anointed? Yeah. 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 I can get it right at home. You're going to get your head here. Because the devil will talk to you in your own voice. All right. Yeah. 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 Yes, it will. Yes. 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 I read my Bible. Yes, you do. But the devil still trick you. Because the Bible says, how can they hear? That's right. Unless there's a preacher. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 And the one that's preaching Woo. should be sent with the anointing. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Every time you miss the word, you, you miss your power. Yes. Yes. Well. Oh, I read my Bible, but did you get preached to? Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. The, the Bible said, how can you hear? Unless there's a preacher. It wouldn't say that for a reason. 
It didn't say I can stay at home and read, I'm going to be all right. No, it's a study to show yourself right. approved, a workman that need to not that need to be ashamed of rightly dividing the word of God. That's what it told you to do. It told you to study, but it did not tell you that you stay home and read your Bible and don't have to go to church. Y'all got to know your Bibles, baby. Oh. That's the problem. We perish for the lack of knowledge because we think we got it and we just lost it. I'm ready to get to my trivias right now. I'm ready to put y'all to work. Y'all know every week I put you to work on something. Miss Shilla started laughing at me right away. You know, I, I, I'm a trivia man. I look for stuff. To say. And watch, watch this here. I look for stuff that I don't know. Uh oh, somebody messed up. Somebody messed up. See, y'all so busy looking for stuff you know. I'm always searching for what I don't know. Because most of the time I've been taught wrong in churches. Right. Amen. Amen. A lot of stuff I'm teaching y'all the stuff I was taught improper. I wouldn't gave all the details about so I did not know. So then I fall into dogma. We, 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 we dealt with that a, a week or so. We felt in dogma and so we go by what everybody else is saying. And be an arrow, Pershing. Because everybody else say this is the right thing to do. But you ain't studied to check it out for your own self to know that every preacher don't tell the truth. I ain't said it in me well. Right? That's why I have y'all check behind me. I make sure I make you go to work. I'm working, you working. <laughs> y'all know how it is. That's how a woman is. A woman don't want no man sitting in the house ain't working. And she got to get up in the morning and go to work. <laughs> sure, I, mean, I stay off a day, got leave. My wife said, you ain't going to work. I got leave. Leave me alone, bro. <laughs> they want you out the house. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't like no man sitting in the house not working. <laughs> That's a lawyer saying if you don't work, you don't eat. It's funny. Sometimes I say stereotype. They don't say nothing about a woman don't work. Is it? Yeah, all right. Because they say a man's supposed to take care of the woman. But we got into these days. But when you find a man not working, that's a big problem. And now. Y'all doing a little cuckoo. Y'all doing like y'all doing. But I go to work. Once I go to work, y'all, I make you go to work. Question. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Everybody know what I'm talking about. No. I'm doing this. No, I'm not ready. Y'all really should know this here if y'all get into it, but maybe y'all don't read the Bible. Y'all read certain particular scriptures that you like. So somebody told you, or y'all flip the page and say, okay, God, I'm going to read the page. That's a bunch of junk. Read the whole Bible. I'm going to just flip the page today and wherever it lands, I'm going to read. The devil is a lot. Rock must have hit somebody. Y'all know what I told you. There's a pile of rocks, a, a pile of dogs somewhere, and you throw a rock in the, in the, in the pile, and it hit the dog, the dog's like, that's the one that it hit. So the one that's not. That's a lot. Don't open your Bible. Read the Bible. Go from Genesis to Revelation, then go back to Genesis to Revelation. Go back to Genesis to Revelation. Go. Amen. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna read pop birds. Especially my favorite pop birds. <laughs> Thing go. Lean 
they preach that stuff and still go to option way, way, God leading them. <laughs> And you got to have both of them together for them to work together. I'm just going to read the New Testament. Well, you don't understand how it all got up to Jesus. You don't know what happened in the garden. You know, people still walking around. Guy was on my job telling me, yeah, um, Adam shouldn't have ate the apple. I said, brother, there ain't no apple written in the Bible. All right, not a pass. I said, you eat an apple right now and you ain't going to sin. That was it. That's not written. It said a fruit. And if you get into the fruits of God, you'll understand it ain't got nothing to do with a banana pear. It's talking about the fruits of the Spirit. That's what they partake of. Not no orange apple pear. He wouldn't have made them. He said they was good. <laughs> What's, what ain't right is the meat that we eat. <laughs> he want us to eat fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. We got into that meat where our head hurt, our stomach big like myself and everything else. <laughs> then you'll find out that after the flood, everybody start eating meat. <laughs> but you wouldn't know that unless you read the old. Amen. <laughs> You understand that drinking messed you up if you got with Noah. <laughs> That's right. We ain't got to wait to the hole and say, you know what, why is this here? No, he shouldn't have been messing with that wine thing a long time ago. Because <laughs> you always going to have a Judas among you. One of the sons went back and said that his father was in there drunk. <laughs> Then you got some good kids, like some of them, when you go out when the father do mess up. Because I got some of them in there, and I got, I got some of the other sons in there and daughters in there. Soon as your father mess up, they're going, you know what, he messed, he a messed up pastor, you know, this here. But see, you got some of them saying, we're going to cover that's right. That's right. he did wrong. Because yes, we know he's a man of God. Yes, that's, right. Amen. Amen. that's right. That's right. No matter how drunk he is. That's right. That's right. Two of his sons covered their yeah. 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 The other ones went out, you know what? He ain't that drunk. He ain't got no clothes on. Remind me the other morning, seeing a boy, I said, boy, what is the world going to? The man butterball naked with his birthday suit on the phone. He said, so where the man clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, could the police cover them up? They could have found a jacket or something in there. They find everything else in the police got caught. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch the box. We're going to be dealing with about three words tonight today. To let you know how important that you are if you don't get stuck in it. Uh-oh, y'all, we're going to go to work tonight. I, I got something working tonight. I got three words that I want y'all to see that's hindering our walk with God. And they really don't matter. The devil making them look like they matter to us. 
And we're going to deal with that because the Listen, the man of God, the power that is vested in him, mm-hmm. you can't move forward because of the things that we're going to talk about tonight. That's right. Not only for you, sisters, there's a whole lot of them in here, but God has got me dealing with you. God wants them to heal, but he wants to, he's trying to get. See, when God starts dealing with one person and you see God speaking to this person over and over, it's because God trying to get deep into their heart about the situation. God wants them to really receive it because he wants everybody to receive it. But this one particularly is like the lost sheep. I leave the 99 and go back to this one. I've got to talk to this one right here. Because y'all don't know how precious people are to God just because they're not right. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Come on, hell. Yay, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, he hate the sin, but he loved the yes, sin. Yes, he does. Yeah. First lady, I want you in on this here because I want to see what you're going to say when I start asking these questions. I'm for the question. I need you. Okay. I want you to be the first one to answer me, okay? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Y'all ready, y'all? Let's get down to business. Y'all ready to go to work. What was Samson's strength? No. Excuse me, somebody what somebody say? That's not right. Anybody else got something else to say? So everybody thought that Samson's strength was in his head then. That's what I was taught to. Me too. Liar, 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 your pants on fire. <laughs> That's what Josh Miles say. I mean, not Josh Miles, uh, uh, Judge Judy. <laughs> am I close? Am I close? What did you say? His strength was in his obedience. No matter. That's what he should have done. But that ain't what he He says in his body. No. His work. Honor him. Work. Oh, you see, you, y'all see why Bible study is so important. Yeah. But some people stay at home like they already think they know. Yeah. And they don't know. Because ain't nobody said the answer in here yet. Yeah. But these are the folks claim that they go to church every Sunday. Amen. Thank God for you, Pastor. Praise Him. Amen. Y'all heard me say praise Him. Jesus. That's right. Ain't nothing good here. Come on, ask. What the Samson's strength? Good God, I'm like, I just want y'all to, to what would you say, marinate on this here. Oh, what was Samson's strength? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Don't say because of my name. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you think about Samson and Delilah. We got that for you. We got that for you, Delilah. We got that for you. Really, really Delilah was, she was, 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 was not the important matter. Of the exactly. So a lot of people think that Delilah was something. It was not had nothing to do with Delilah. At all. Thank you. She just. Delilah did what but Delilah did. She, she did what she did. That's right. She do what Delilah did. She was a feeling sign. Come on, guess. She do. You say you want to guess. That one, they told me, Pastor. Hallelujah. This is how Bible studies get to be, y'all. Be all messed oh, up boy. and weighed down. It's all right. Come on. We're supposed to enjoy our Jesus and learning about things in the Bible. Bible. Uh oh. Can you guess? <laughs> On the main line. Tell them what you want. Hey. Jesus on the main line. Come on. What you want? Uh oh. Huh? 
He killed a lot. He killed a lot of people. Yeah, he did. With a jawbone on a donkey. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna help. Let's act the 13th chapter of the Book of Judges. Anybody have it? Amen. Y'all have it? Somebody read it to verse five for me, and then we're gonna see if the if the answer the answer is in there. If you can see it. Chapter one. What chapter you say? Chapter 13, verse 1 through 5. And the children of Israel uh -huh. did evil again in the sight of the Lord. What they do again? Evil. Okay, let's keep. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines 40 years. Wow. Look at that 40 again. And there was a certain man <laughs> of Zora, of the family of the Benites, whose name was Mona. Mon Manoah. Manoah. And his wife was burned and bare not. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold now, thou art burned and breath bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Now therefore be aware, I pray thee, and drink not wine, nor strong drink, and eat not only unclean things, for lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son. And no razor should come on his head. For the child should be a Nazarite unto God from the womb. And he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Stop. Thank you. Because I want to see we ain't went to the answer not yet. I want y'all to see some things. Mm. Mm. There was specific orders God gave. If you notice when Jesus came, there was specific orders, instructions. There were specific instructions. I want to know, did anybody hear the instructions that was told to the, to the mother? Yes. Not to drink wine. Okay, stop right there. Not to drink wine. Why would y'all think he told them not to drink wine? <clears throat> Nobody know well. We're gonna, we're gonna understand that because I want y'all to know. Because wine make you feel jolly. That's right. Watch this. When you drink wine or alcohol, it gives you a jolly feeling. It makes you be filled with woo woo. <laughs> he did not want. His child to be filled with the world's joy. All right. Wow. Amen. 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 Y'all wow. know he wanted him to be filled with the Holy Spirit joy. Yeah, Lord. Right. That was one of the uh, fruit yes, of the Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. See, that's that wine made of man is worldly joy. All right now. But the wine God give us is joy of the Holy Spirit. So he did not want him to have no worldly joy. The Bible said the joy of the Lord is my what? I don't need no wine to make me feel this way. I don't want no wine. I thank God I had the world's wine, but I know this type of wine, I'm drunk every day. I ain't got to, it don't cost me nothing to be drunk. Free and keep your pockets full. Yeah. Ain't got to run nobody to the store on payday. Been there, done that. I'm waiting on the weekend so I can get my drink on. I wake up every day and I get my drink on. Oh. Yes, sir. Just as merry as somebody who would have drunk a gallon of wine, I'm just as merry. And guess what? This wine don't never run out. The world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. But that wine that you drink gonna run out. You gotta go back to the store. Spend your money. So it won't Samson to have none of the world wine. What else did he told? 
instructions for them to do, y'all. I'm ready to go to work in here. I ain't got into this thing yet. But we still ain't got the answer. Lord, and eat no Not unclean right. um, no thing. You don't want him to be with any unclean thing. <laughs> Jesus is life. Yes. And we like to play with dead things. And we want to see why we die. We're not dying physical like that. But we're dying spiritually. Because we keep messing with dead things. Things that's not going to take us to where God wants us to be. We're messing with dead things. Dead men. Men ain't going nowhere. They got a hump hump for you. And that's all they got. They got nothing else for you. Can't leave you. The only way they can leave you is in the bedroom. Can't lead you no further than the bedroom. I told you, you got a man that ain't got Christ. You got a headless, a headless man. Where can he lead you? He can't lead you nowhere. The Bible said when a man get in God, he's supposed to cleanse his woman with the word of God. No wonder you stay dirty. Come on, Ain't nobody cleansing you. And the man you have ain't cleansing you. Because he's not talking about the word of God. You can only be cleansed through the word of God. So if he's not preaching to you every day about the word of God, is he telling you what he wants you to do? Jesus. Uh, dead things. Yes. 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 Wanna know why your spirit died? Yes. Told him don't let him be an unclean thing. Yes. Wanna know why your life ain't healthy? You connected with a dead thing. Know what, you know why your spirit ain't filled and you ain't got no joy. That's why you gotta drink the stuff of the world. <laughs> Dead things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some deadness in our lives. Yeah, dead things keep you dead. Yes, Spirit, spiritual dead. Mm -hmm. yes. What else it told him not to do? No razor. No what? Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. No razor on the head. You know why you don't want him to cut his hair? Because everybody, see, back then, a, a Nazareth, back then, they tried what's to wear long hair. And you know, in the New Testament, it talks about a man should have long hair. That's why these men walking around here, they, they, they out of order with that. Amen. Men should have long hair. They look just like women have for us. They got plaques all down the back and all of this here, extensions and all of that. The Bible says you don't know one from another. If they walk in, you won't even know if it's a man or a woman from the back. I want them supposed to have hair. That's her covering. Until she get a husband. Then a husband become her covering. She not cut her hair. Right. Unless she got some type of disease. Right. Yeah. 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 I have a head disease. You know what I mean? They have to cut that. <laughs> it's not biblical, even though it looks cute. It's not biblical. It's the truth. Oh, 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 I'm going to give you it, whether you like it or not. Good boy, Paul. Oh, 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 Pastor, you said if we got a covering, you said if we got a covering, you said if we got a covering, you said if that's what the word is. No, you ain't supposed to cut your head, even if you if you got a, a, a man of God. That's your, that's your, that's your, that's your covering. But the hair is the covering to God. The hair is the is the covering of God. See, Muslim covers their head. 
as a submission to God. The only thing about the body of Christ, we don't want to submit to nothing. But we want God to do everything. But we don't want to submit ourselves to nothing of God's. One thing I can say about other religions, they submit themselves. They faithful to their to their religion. Christianity is the only religion that is not faithful. All you gotta do is read all the Old Testament. They was always unfaithful. That's right. That's right. Faithful. Faithfulness. I want somebody to go over here because now when we get ready to find out is where Samson's strength is at. Since everybody think that was in his hand, we already know he wasn't obedient, so we know it wasn't in his obedience. <laughs> a lot of y'all don't know Samson was a, was a, um, people really think, just like she said, because we're not taught right because we don't study. Right. People think Samson was so cut up, built and like that. Samson was a little wimp. Yes, sir. The study say he would look like a little sissy. That's what the study said. Break it down the bus. But I thought God takes the foolish things of this world and confounds the wise. He loves to take something that don't look like nothing and turn it on. Watch your stuff. Mm. I want somebody to go to chapter 15 real quick. This is what Nisha was talking about. I want somebody to read 14 and verse 15 real quick. Verse 14 and 15. Yes, in chapter 15. Verse 14 and 15. As he approached Lehi, Lehi, mm -hmm. the Philistines came towards him shouting, The Spirit of the Lord come upon him in power. The ropes on his arms became like charred flax, and the, and the binding drop, dropped from his hands. Finding a flesh jawbone of a donkey, he grabbed it and stuck stuck down a thousand thousand men. Then Simon said, I'm going to read it again so you can better get it. And when he came to Lehi, and the Philistines shouted against him, and the Spirit of the Lord came mighty upon him, and the corn and the cords that were upon his arm became as flax that was burnt with fire, and his band loosed from off his hand, and he found a new jawbone of an ass, and put forth his hand, and took it, and slew a thousand men thereof. Where was his power at? In his hand. No. Where it came from? Every time Samson did anything, it said, but the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. It wasn't in his hand. It was in the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. It was in the anointing of his life. Wow. And when you ain't got the Spirit of God, that's why you can't do nothing. <laughs> his hell, it was his hell. You know what happened when they cut off his hair? Because he had instructions not to cut his hair. What happened when they cut his hair? The Spirit of the Lord left him. He had no more power. Yes, sir. Amen, amen. He didn't even know it. Yes, sir. You got it. Jesus. Some of y'all don't know the Lord have left you because you think you got it. Jesus, Lord, you go in and teach. Come on now. When he killed the lion, it said, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon them. Ain't by our strength. I thought the Bible says not by might, 
nor is by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. We are strong when we are in Him. We are strong when we are in Him. Your money will run out and then you'll become weak. Don't put your power in your money. Yes, sir. Don't put your power in no man. Because they'll leave you. And she will too. My money or my honey leave, but I still can shop. Oh, with me. <laughs> me with you. Me with you. Me with you. It wasn't the loud that did so much to Samson. It was Samson that did to his own self. Come on. When you fail, it's because the Lord Spirit backed up. That's what happens. And it leaves you powerless. And you wonder why. See, Samson, every time he told the lie, uh, if you come and, 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 and tie the ropes this way and that way, yes, right as soon as they came back, boom, he broke the thread. Yes, sir. The whole town wanted to know his secret. Mm -hmm. And Delilah could have got paid for filing out. Come on. <laughs> he was in the right spot to file yes, it out. Yes, sir. Right to get paid. Yes, That's what she's about it. She didn't love Samson. She so wanted to get paid. Yes, sir. But he loved her. Yeah. Oh, y'all missed that right there. Come on, yeah, that's right. Right. You get used because you love them. Absolutely. Mm, but they don't love you. All right, now. Yeah, that's a poor yeah, oh, she stroked and we make him believe. Oh, some of y'all have got stroked real good. Mm. That's why you ain't went nowhere. All right. Have <laughs> <laughs> to say right there and let him stroke. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can cut my hair, baby. <laughs> God told him from the beginning, don't cut your hair. Come on, yeah. But when he gave up God's anointing mm -hmm. to feel good, mm -hmm. he gave up the anointing just to feel good. And when he cut his hair, God said, I will draw my power from him. And so this time when they tied him up, he couldn't break it. Mm -mm. He got caught in bondage. That's why some of y'all are caught in bondage because you ain't got no power. Right. And you can't get out of the thing because the thing got you because hey, hey. God told you don't do something and you oh, get yeah. in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. The Bible says, but the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. Mightily upon him. Mightily upon him. So he was able to beat everything that came his way. And why you can't beat nothing is because you done traded your anointing. Come on, Jesus. Awesome. Stay right there. You want your pleasure more than you want God's anointing. Stay there, sir. Stay there, sir. Speak, Lord. Amen. Nice. Yeah, I don't care if it's gambling, yeah. drinking, whatever. Yeah. Whatever you trade your anointing. Yeah. 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 Ye
overcome it. Yes, God. Yeah, talk thank to you, your Jesus. Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Yeah, Lord. You are alive and on it. Sounds so hard to feel good. Yeah. 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 They right here tonight. Right. But lost the power yeah. of God. Jesus. Mm. 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 But I want y'all to notice mm. when it first started. Oh, yeah. It started when he got hurt. Yes, sir. God speaking to you. God have mercy. When Samson got hurt by his first wife, he ain't never been the same since. Because he had a riddle. Y'all didn't know Samson was a poetic. He knew how to do riddles. So he made up a riddle that no one could get. Yeah. But they told his first wife, because Delilah wasn't his wife, but he told his first wife that if you don't get me that riddle, we're going to burn down you and your father's house. Yeah. And she was more concerned about her house being born down yeah. than the man of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or well, somebody missing this thing. Yeah, hey, right there, Poppy. Chain the page, mm. And she told the secret. Jesus. That's when Samson went out and destroyed the thousand people with the jawbone. Come on here. After he got hurt, the, the, the Bible said he went into the city in, of, uh, of Gaza and yes, slept with a prostitute because yes, yes, he was hurt. That's what happened with us. When we get hurt by a man or a woman, uh, we going to grab another one. Uh, that ain't no good for us in the first place. Oh, Slept with a prostitute. And I he slept with the prostitute. They were ready to tag butt up. But the Bible said the spirit of the Lord came upon him. And he picked up the whole gates huh, and was able to walk out the city of gates. Huh, come on, somebody. Oh, that's right. Then he was still hurt. And fell for the lot. But he didn't want to marry her. Mm. He wanted to play with her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I ain't seen nobody in here. Awesome. Got to talk to somebody in here. Awesome. Stay right where you at. Stay right where you at. Good teacher. You hear the Bible never speak about Samson marrying the lot. You heard him say that he was in love with her. That's it. <laughs> and he wanted to be he wanted to feel good. Yeah, Lord. And Delilah knew how to make him feel real good because she was a pro at it. <laughs> they told her, I'll pay you well. Yes. Get his anointing. <laughs> And he traded his anointing over for the pleasure and lost the power of the Spirit of God. Like some of y'all do in here. He wanted revenge so bad he was willing to kill his own son. Because the Bible said the revenge is mine, said the Lord. Samson wanted them to get them back so bad because they didn't guide their eyes, his eyes out and everything. The Bible says hair started growing back. Which signified the badge of his calling. See, his hair was only a badge of his calling because his hair represents shame. Watch this. Y'all got to catch why God left his hair on his head. See, see, if you can't walk in shame of oh God, see, Jesus had to walk in shame for our sins. See, as a Nazareth, they, he must have looked really weird to them because they was walking around with short hair and he was the only one with long hair. Because it shows the shame that he had to bear was showing his separation from everybody else. The calling of God that was on his life. The shame was that I got to understand that everybody ain't going to understand my calling. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
I got the wettest long hair and people look at me like I'm crazy because I got to show them the calling that God has on my life. See, there might be something in your life that, that make people look funny at you. That's your anointing call. Like this Mm-hmm. No, you ain't supposed to look like nobody else. The problem is we want to fit in too bad. We want people to like us. Well, you ain't going to be so like when you got a call. Oh, yes, that's right. Yes, sir. Jesus. No, you're not. Jesus. No, this make the children hate you. Yes, sir. This make the mother hate you. Yes. Mm. This might make your sister yes, hate you. Yes. This might make your co-workers hate you. Yes. Speak on the book. It's all right. That's why Jesus said those who forsake houses, call wives, brother, mother, yes, father, sir. children for my sake, because they might start hating on yes, you when you get the call yes, on your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know why you're going through? Come on, here. Well, all you really do, rather for them to like you. Yes, sir. I don't want them to like you. Come on, here. 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 Come Okay. They ain't supposed to like you. Yes, sir. No, they don't like called people. No, sir. Not at all. Set aside. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. There's some Nazarites in the house. Come on, man. Jesus. And our problem is we trying to fit in for some pleasure. All right, now. And God done called us with our anointing. Yes, sir. Set us to And we ready to trade our anointing in for our pleasure. Come on, here. Jesus. <laughs> Right there. Mm. Come on, help. I'm left. Thank you, Lord. And you will never get a hit. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Compromise in the spirit. That's right. Amen. That's right. Come on, man. They call you a Nazarite. That's right. You got to keep your hair. All right now. You can't mm. let nobody cut. That's right. Mm. Oh, somebody missing. Whatever God called you to do, you can't let nobody cut. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You can't let your job. Mm. Cut your head. Woo. Glory. Hey. Make you feel good. It's cutting away cut your anointing. Oh, because you're trading that off for your anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, you're calling the singing, but something trying to cut away. Oh, Mama! Mama! Tell him to speak. I don't know how to preach it like that. Yeah, come on, Ed. Forget that, everybody. Yes, sir. That's anointing. Yes, sir. Only God can give this to me that revelation knowledge. The Spirit of the Lord came upon me. And I was able to put that word out like that. I ain't come on, Ed. That's why I say this ain't no intellectual thing. I'm glad it ain't smart. That makes me rely on God. All right, now. Yes, sir. They go and get all these degrees. Think they got it. See, see what happened with Samson land. He thought he had it, y'all. He had, he, had, he had slew the line. He had slew thousand people. Some of y'all done got over, over and over and over. But one time, huh, the Bible said that we continue in sin. That, that grace shall survive. God forbid. One day you're going to wake up and find Find out that you ain't got no power. Oh, Jesus. Right. Mm. True. Amen. Mm. Come on, man. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Oh.